And today we have uh, Deborah Johnson, an experienced digital tutor. Now, take note, singer, voiceover artist, and a quill artist. Now, she's, she expresses her thoughts and ideas using her voice and also her art. Now, she's right here with us. You are welcome, Deborah Johnson. Thank you. First of all, well, your name sounds like a movie star's name. <laughs> Let me just start by saying that. But you are such an interesting person, and I can't wait to tell everybody out there all the different facets of your life. First off, <clears throat> you are a digital tutor. Yes, I and am. And what do you teach? Math. Mathematics. Yes. Now, what did you study in the university? Uh, ICT Mathematics Education. ICT Mathematics Education. Yeah. And you are a voiceover artist. Yes, I am. Are you now? <laughs> <laughs> I am. And... You're also a, what's this called, quill artist? Quill artist. Quill, you're going to explain that. Now, the funny thing about Deborah here is that it's very interesting how and when she started. Do you want to tell us exactly when you started this beautiful form of art? Yeah, so I started this during the pandemic. Um, it was that period when I was actually losing my mind. I was used to going out a lot, um, interacting with kids in the classroom, mm -hmm. and then we, we had to stay back at home. Yeah. And so I thought, what could my mind do? What could my hands do? You know, so I had to channel all of that energy to learning something new, and voila. I mean, voila, <laughs> indeed. I mean, did you have to learn this, or was it natural? Natural, actually. Natural? Yeah. I, so where I had this talent all been all of these years, and then? Well, um, I, I really did not know. I know that once I saw something from Juliana, Mm -hmm. um, she's like the biggest quill artist. So okay. I saw that and I was like, wow, so people do stuff like this. You know what? I want to try it. And then I did my first work. It was crap. <laughs> Trust me. But then with time and consistency, I was able to um, grow. And I think... I think I can get better though. Well, this time and consistency we're speaking about was only just about, it's only been about two years since the pandemic. Yeah. And it's so good. I would have thought that you'd been doing this for like a decade or maybe even two. I, I'm going to have to, I'm going to lift this one. Can you, can you hand me that? <clears throat> now, first of all, what is this called? This is Black Rainbow. Black Rainbow, Rainbow indeed. Now, what you can't see at home is the intricacy of this art form. It's that this is paper. They're all paper. They're yes. all rolled up or folded to form this beautiful piece here, the scarf and then the black rainbow, black rainbow. See there, it's, it's, it's 3D actually. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Okay, yeah, there it is. It's 3D, you can, you can actually touch this. Yes. It's just so beautiful, colorful, and you have to wonder how long it takes the artist to actually put this. How long did it take you to put something like this together? It took me 20 hours. 20 hours, no, that's too small. It did take me 20 hours. Wow. Wow, that, it's just, just beautiful. I've never seen this before. This is my first time. And the inspiration behind that one comes from what exactly? From the African woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way we're black, but then we express ourselves with colors. And basically, that's it. Mm. Uh, we were not only verbally expressive, we're also expressive with our dressings, our clothing, what we do, our lifestyles, basically. So that was the inspiration for this. Intelligent. What is this? Oh, that's a single feather. Oh, it is a feather. Yeah. Oh, now I see. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, let, let, me, let me lift that again so everybody at home can see this as well. Who's looking at that? Okay, there you go. It's, it's beautiful. Thank you. It's beautiful. Now, how much do you sell these for? Okay, um, these or this? This, for instance. Okay, this, this is for $100. $100. Dollars. Hey, hey, international. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to direct your attention to what we have sitting uh, right there in our little uh, open area. Now, this has got to be the most elaborate one amongst everything here. Yes, it is. And it is fantastic, to say the least. Um, it's of a Nigerian woman who is, seems ready to go to that Owambe party if she's not the bride. But she is the bride. She is the bride. There yes. you go. Thank you very much. What is it titled? Uh, this is African Bride. African Bride. It is beautiful. And this will cost me how much? Well, it will cost you $1,000. $1,000. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so beautiful. What's the inspiration behind this one? Um, actually, this is a project for my aunt. Oh. Yeah. Is that your aunt? Yeah, she's oh, nice. my aunt. Okay. And I, I thought I thought about how um, people go around drawing um, maybe pen art, pen, pencil art, charcoal art. And I'm like, you know, I think I want to give her something special, something mm -hmm. dif different, yeah. And then I had to start working on this months before the wedding because mm -hmm. I had to present this to her mm -hmm. on the wedding day. So it was basically a gift. Yeah, so she borrowed this... I borrowed so this. 
she, she's like, okay, I'm going to give it to you just so you can display it today yeah. and then and give it to us. So she didn't give you $1,000, did she? No, she did not. <laughs> <laughs> she did but not. It's, it's fantastic. What I'm, what I'm still boggled with is the fact that um, in terms of the period, in, in such a short while, you've advanced to making something that elaborate. Yeah. And I'm wondering if <clears throat> from before then, you actually had the ability to maybe paint or draw or do quill art itself. Uh, Where did it come from and when did that ability start? So my mom is a teacher okay. and um, we went from designing our classrooms with regular paper, you know, cutting out dishes, cups go. and all of that. And I, yeah, I could say that I, I helped. Yeah, I helped mm -hmm. while she was trying to decorate the classroom and also I think that was where I got... Develop the ability develop, yes, or that, interest. That for, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, um, then seeing other people's artwork as well, I am really fascinated when I see colors. Give me one person who inspires you. Juliana. Juliana. Yeah. Okay. Juliana does the, like, Juliana's work. Oh, you're speechless. Goodness, yeah. <laughs> she really inspires me. When I see the jobs that she's done, uh -huh. I am blown away. Look at your screens right now. We can see a couple other stuff that you have done. Fantastic yeah. work. I cannot believe that this has only just been a little period as short as two years. They are fantastic and they have meaning. I can actually tell what you're trying to say just by looking at them. The simplicity alone gives it so much meaning. There's one in front of us which is quite tribal or traditional. What's that called? That's um, Ijo. Ijo, the yeah. dance. Dance, exactly. Yeah. That's beautiful. And it's inspired by the Nigerian forms of dances, I yes, guess. Yes, exactly. The, the drummer doing his thing and then the lady moving to the beat. Mm. That, that's it. Wow, that's beautiful. That's fantastic. I mean, Deborah, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't express how amazed I am at what you do and how I wish that I could do the same thing. <laughs> um, but do you think you could t perhaps train or teach someone to do this? After all, you are a tutor. Yes, I can. I actually have started training a couple of people. Mm. Yes, I, mm. I can teach this. So if, I, if, I'm, if, I, if I want to perhaps do something like that one, Ijo, for instance, that mm -hmm. we have um, as a beginner, what would I have to start with? Would I have to start by drawing it, for instance? Mm, I think first you need to know how to manipulate the paper. Okay. That's like the first thing you it's need to do. It's all origami learn. here. No, it's not origami. It's not, but uh, you need to learn how to bend the papers to follow the lines, the curves and all of that because it could be really frustrating if you're not used to um, handling papers. Mm -hmm. You need to know how much glue to use, how much, you know, um, and it, If you don't know how, it, it could be a very messy thing because yeah. there's glue involved. Exactly. I can imagine, but you've managed that very, very well. Fantastic art uh, pieces here. You are one fantastic embodiment of everything that's art. And yes, indeed, you do have a fantastic voice. Thank you. <laughs> On that note, let's say goodbye. <laughs> but thank you very much for joining us. We can't wait to see how much more you can do. And we'll be looking forward to your oh, future endeavors. Thank you very much. Do stay tuned. We have much more coming your way inside Wake Up Nigeria. We'll be right back.